I mean, we, we have to be quite clear that this is quite a serious undertaking. The, the young lads and the coach are around about two kilometres underground and around about a kilometre of that is completely flooded, so submerged passages. Uh, not all in one long kilometre stretch, but there's air pockets along the way, it's confined spaces, it's almost zero visibility. Uh, there's currents to battle against in, in places as well. So it, it's a really quite a, a, a strenuous environment to be in. And we're led to believe that a sort of a dive in and out where the young lads are is around about a three hour undertaking. So it's a significant diving exercise. Well, our understanding is that the Thai military have sort of taken control over the sort of the next phase of it. So, so we were fully involved in the search process. Uh, now we're moving into the rescue stage. We're just acting as an advisory role. But what we're assuming in some cases, and, and certainly assuming with some good information, is that diving the boys out in some shape or form over some time frame is probably the best option. Uh, drilling will have been considered, et cetera, et cetera. But um, as I said, it's it's a kilometer's worth of diving. And if you assume that these guys have no diving experience at all. They've been underground for nine days. They'll be slightly weaker than, than you would hope. Um, it could be a lengthy process to dive them out. So they may start to dive them out in small batches into small uh, into other chambers, other pockets that are, are there and do that over a staggered period of time. Obviously, the biggest risk really is current rainfall. If, if it keeps raining or starts to rain and water levels start to rise, then there's, there's a bit more immediacy required. We're, we're certainly under the assumption that the ties are, as we speak, diving in significant supplies, that's food, medical, fresh water, lighting, um, clothing, just general things to keep the boys warm, well, keep their morale up. Hopefully they're looking at taking in a communication system that might allow them to talk to the surface, talk to loved ones, talk to family. And that sort of morale boost is, is really important in these sorts of situations. One of the significant issues with drilling is pinpointing the accuracy of either where the boys currently are or where there is a, a larger airspace close to them. Um, really difficult. We are under the assumption that they're around 800 to a kilometer below the surface. So that's up to a kilometer of solid rocks to drill through in the first place and to pinpoint it into a relatively small sort of postage stamp air pocket is a really, really skilled art. And without having a definitive location of the boys through, let's say, technology, that's, that's a task that's not quite impossible, but it's, it's not an easy one and drilling from the top of a jungle mountain ridge is really tricky. It's a lengthy process in itself, um, but it certainly will have been considered and they will definitely be thinking that that could be an option. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're, I'm sure you'll be aware we're trying not to go into too much personal details about, about the guys, but all we can say is sort of rest assured that these are some of the best divers in the world. Um, they've got numerous accounts of rescue diving, not only in the UK, but abroad as well. And uh, we're definitely confident that we've got the best of our guys out there with the support back here at home from, from all the other divers in the UK, the officers within the BCRC, we're ensuring that they're getting the support they need at the moment out in Thailand. Uh, and if they can be involved in it, they absolutely will. And they'll hopefully see it through to a successful conclusion. You have to play that sort of balancing game between having huge amounts of hope and on the other side having that element of the huge risk that's involved in this in this process clearly finding the guys all alive all relatively well and relatively safe is absolutely amazing i can't quite imagine what the families must be going through during this sort of period or the guys themselves obviously underground but uh, we're making sort of no not not beating around the bush at all that this is a significant rescue operation in many factors and whichever option might be favored by the Thai authorities none of them are light-hearted easy approaches uh, potentially it, it, it's certainly a risk that's out there that the weather will play a significant factor um, we, we now know that we're sort of touching into the monsoon season um, 
the, the water levels rise quite quickly. They do fall quite quickly if it does stop raining as well. But with the rising water levels, you get strong currents, uh, you get disorientation, et cetera, et cetera. So it could be a drawn out process. Nobody really knows how long it might last or how quick uh, a successful outcome might be. But we, we certainly know that the Pi authorities are doing absolutely everything they can. They're throwing absolutely every resource that they've got at it. And they've got strong manpower. They've got the willingness to make this work. And I think that's going to play a big part in a successful outcome.